to the second channel, man, and the beat from the intro is provided by Kizzy on the track. There's a link in the description below that's going to take you to downloadpads.com. From there, you can find this particular beat tape because I'm live streaming it and get the contact information via Twitter. And if you holler out and get some beats, tell them I sent you. But anyway, on to today's reply, and it's to that Eminem, Detroit versus everybody. Honestly, it's not that bad. But it suffers the same flaws that every damn song that has too many people on there has. I mean, when you have three or more people on a song, man, you have three different personalities for the most case, man. Because it doesn't matter if you're all from the same city, like this song being the anthem for Detroit. It got nothing but Detroit artists on there. Each individual has their own style. And trying to fit each individual style on one beat is very damn difficult. And that's why usually when they try to do tracks like this, man, the beat usually be watered down and real basic and such man but not in this case man actually this beat was actually pretty cool but that definitely showed the clashing of the styles more than ever like Royce the 5'9 Big Sean and Danny Brown alone not even including Eminem on it those guys clash so damn much against each other man the song really wasn't cohesive just because of that honestly i didn't like dash loaf on the damn hook though she definitely did her thing yes if you're looking at the title trick trick is on it but he's not rapping he's really just co-signing just saying some stuff at the end. Overall, I would say that Eminem definitely did have the best verse on him, and seeing as though he had a damn great verse on the cypher, and that this verse was pretty damn good, a lot of people saying that Eminem is back, I'm not going to go that far yet. I need to hear some solid tracks coming from this damn collaboration out. But I will say things are looking up. Things look like they're going in the right direction for Eminem. But I definitely recommend you guys to go ahead, peep that on out, man. But it's not really worth a download or anything like that. But anyway, on to ask, download pass. And Theo says he feels as though G-Unit has lost its spark. Like, he went out and got that 50 Cent album, man, and he listened to it all but one time and haven't listened to it again, man. And you know, that is the sign of whether it's a good album or something else. Because whenever you just listen to an album one time and get bored of that shit, man, it really didn't stand the test of time. And has G-Unit lost its spark? I definitely do believe so, man. I mean, they're just not that fucking hungry with it. And which they should be because they're fucking independent, man. But it doesn't seem that way. And Lil Quincy says that he appreciates how Kendrick Lamar, his main focus is to build up and inspire people talking some real shit. Like, that's what he dedicates his music to doing. Because a bunch of people come to him at shows and shit talking about how without him, they probably would have committed suicide and such. And you know, that shows the truth about music, man. You don't have to talk the same bullshit that everyone else is talking in order to build a fan base, in order to be successful, man. It all boils down to making good music. You can definitely make good music and have positive things to say. A lot of people have done that. And guys like Kendrick Lamar definitely proved that you can do it and do it on such a high level that you will get commercial success from. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there and you can go to downloadpads.com that's down there to read today's 